I am a wing of the wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. The wheel of fate is turning. Welcome back to the classic game room deconstructed review of Blaze Blue. Chrono Phantasma. Extend on the PlayStation 4 where I'm fighting as Subayaki yo yo yeah. Tsubayaki Yayoi versus Azrael, and I'm I'm playing on hard here, still learning how to use this character. I like her a lot. She's good, but she's tricky. Normally I play with U13, who's uh, far easier to use. You just hang back and uh, shoot magic arrows at people. <laughs> with her, it's all about uh, getting up in someone's face and just using punch and kick combos and obliterating them. Like, she's a lot of fun to play as. I, I like her character a lot. Uh, but she's tough, so I'm, I'm continuously learning here in, uh, in these videos. And I'm going to lose this round. Um, actually, I played... I probably played this battle like 10 times before I beat it. And I'm throwing one in here where I lose, which I don't normally throw into the uh, videos because I want you to think that I actually know what I'm doing. But I assure you, that I have no idea what I'm doing. In life, in general, really. Or this game. I mean, do any of us really know what we're doing? I know that I love El Camino's beer drinking and video games, so... In that respect, yes, I know what I'm doing, but... Uh, when it comes to mastering her moves, she's tricky. She really is. She's, uh... She's got some great moves. And obviously you can, uh, practice them, but... I feel like practicing moves and then getting into a getting into a fight where you actually have to execute them are two very different things. It's all it's all repetition and repeat gameplay. But uh, pl if you're getting into this game, try try her. She's she's fun. She's very powerful. So uh, a lot of the times here where it looks like I'm just totally screwing up, it's because I'm trying to pull off special moves and uh, missing missing. I'm playing with the Vulix. The uh, Taito Hori R.A.P. 4 Vulix Fight Stick, which is like the greatest fight stick, the greatest arcade stick in existence. So once again, thanks to my man Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri, for sending uh, this game and that controller to the show, helping, helping, uh, helping me get my ass kicked here on the internet. Thanks, dude. I lost. My confidence is shattered. So I shall try again. And. Um, yeah, he gets an early start there, and then I'm just desperately. She's got some cool moves, so I'm just I'm trying to pull them off at the right time and just missing. And uh, there you go, run towards the enemy. She got that, that that very simple one there, which does a lot of damage. This guy's hard though. He, he's a tough one. I think if you can pull off the uh, jacket open with muscles, look like you're a badass dude, you know. Like for most of us, it's like jacket open with beer gut, but uh, for this guy, he's he, he's uh, he's tough. Of course, it's a video game; it's not real life. Or is it? Maybe we were all in the video game. Prove or not? Yeah, you can jump in the air and do like a sweet dive dive move, but uh, all right, I'm about to win here. Eh, not so much. He pulls off a distortion finish. You're an asshat. So let's try this again. I accept your rematch. Double or nothing, let's go. The wheel of fate is turning again. Shh, golf clap. Alright. So she's a very simple move, which is like a shield bash. <laughs> He's just manhandling her here. Um, not doing well at the moment, but I do redeem myself. Punch and kick combos with her do a lot of damage. She's good when you can get up in someone's face. But she's not a good distance fighter, or at least I haven't figured out a way to make her a good distance fighter yet. She has a, uh, like a fireball move where she can shoot a magic fireball or something. Still trying to learn that one and pull it off at, w at will, but uh, not quite there yet. So 
So I'm, I'm playing very defensively here. Bunch of kick combos. All simple stuff. And... Special move. When you fill up that uh, power bar in the bottom left there, you can pull off some special moves. And I win the first round here. Okay. I'm one up. But I still got to uh, finish the deal here. Steal the deal. He's a cool looking character, too. He's got some good style. Not as cool as Mew 13. Like, the uh, cyborg robot girls are definitely, uh, I think, the coolest looking girls in the game, but uh, I like this one. Again, playing defensively, keeping my distance. You don't want to get too close to this guy. He's one of the more powerful fighters. I'm trying to stay away. I'm just pulling off punch and kick combos. Punch and kick combos. Not doing a whole lot of damage yet, but... I'm also not taking much damage. Because I'm uh, being careful not to... Just get trapped in one of his, like, crazy-ass super... Like this thing. Some magic combo thing. I like that. Oh, this is bad. Alright. Well, see, that, now that hurts. That's gonna leave a mark. And what do, do uh, Yep, we, we just. She's fast. So get in there. Land a couple hits. Ooh, this is close. Distortion uh, move, whatever that is. Special move there. Throw the, throw the magic swords. Keep my distance. Shield bash. Punch kick, punch kick, punch kick, punch kick. Win. There we go. Played very defensively on that one. And won. So, see you next time. Blaze Blue. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.